Nantikan ya anak-anak yang di rumah dengarkan Akan persamaan artikel dengan editorial Have you ever experienced dry eyes, tearing eyes, and blurred vision while staring at laptop screens during school from home? What about double vision, headache, and neck pain? Have you ever felt those complaints while having movie marathons and gaming? If your answer is yes, you are not alone. As we use laptops more frequently during this pandemic, it is most likely that we feel those symptoms more often. Ocular and vision-related symptoms, which result from the prolonged use of computers, laptops, and smartphones, are known as Computer Vision Syndrome or CVS. It is estimated that there are 60 million people with the addition of around 1 million new cases per year around the world suffer from CVS. Another study reveals that CVS is the most commonly found diagnosis during lockdown. And you know what? One of the causes of CVS is... Blue, Blue light! First things first, blue light is a short wavelength electromagnetic radiation ranging from 400 to 500 nanometers in the visible spectrum that carries the highest amount of energy per photon. The shorter the wavelength, the higher energy radiation intensity, so the more harmful the effects to our eyes. In many studies, overexposure to blue light from LED screens has been claimed as one of the factors of an increase in visual complaints. Now, right here, we have the human eye. When the light comes in, it goes through the eye to the retina and hits the photoreceptor that allows us to see colors. Unlike the UV rays, which can be blocked by the front parts of the eye, blue light is not easily blocked, so it goes directly and falls to the retina. The excessive amount of blue light coming to the eyes make the eye lens have difficulty in focusing objects. So, the ciliary muscle needs to work hard to accommodate, and this leads to CVS. In this study, we propose a tool called Flicker, or blue light blocking mirrors. It is designed by utilizing two front surface mirrors. This study is aimed to measure the effectiveness of using Blicker in reducing blue light exposure and examine the effects of Blicker in preventing CVS. Therefore, this experimental study used two primary data. The first primary data were collected to investigate whether or not Blicker is effective in reducing the blue light exposure. We used one group pre-test post-test design with convenient sampling technique. 22 laptops of various types were measured for their blue light spectral irradiance before and after using Blicker. They were tested by Spectromaster Siconic C800. The second primary data were gained to find out the effect of using Blicker on preventing CVS. We applied a randomized pre-test post-test control group design with purposive sampling technique. The samples of the study are 32 students of SMAN 68 Jakarta who met the inclusion criteria and did not meet the exclusion criteria. They were divided into two groups, experimental and control. In the first stage, the student filled out a questionnaire before the intervention using CVSQ. This questionnaire evaluated 16 symptoms of CVS and their severity levels. In the intervention stage, the experimental group was asked to watch a movie and read using laptop with Blicker for 2 hours. Meanwhile, the control group did the same activities using laptop without Blicker. In the last stage, all of them filled out a questionnaire after the intervention. To analyze the data, we inputted all the data to Microsoft Excel and carried out statistical analysis using SPSS. Based on the analysis results on the first primary data, Blicker was able to reduce the amount of blue light exposure to 87.17%. The p-value showed a significant difference between the mean scores of blue light spectral irradiance before and after the intervention. 
the analysis results of the second primary data revealed that after the intervention, none of the students in the experimental group were indicated to experience CVS. The use of Blicker was able to reduce the CVS scores of students in the experimental group to 83.42%, thus giving a positive effect on reducing the frequency and intensity of CVS. The chart illustrates that there were no more students in the experimental group experiencing symptoms of worsening eyesight, feeling a foreign body, red eyes, and double vision. The number of symptoms that declined greatly in frequency were headache, heavy eyelids, eye pain, and increased sensitivity to light. Furthermore, the use of Blicker allows neutral body and neck posture because of its design that makes the laptop use more ergonomic. 94% of the students in the experimental group agree that Blicker makes laptop users more comfortable staring at the screen for long duration. In conclusion, the use of Blicker is effectively proven to reduce the direct exposure of blue light from laptops. It is indicated by the significant decrease of the mean scores of blue light spectral radiance before and after the intervention, as well as the p-value, showing the significant difference of the two scores of the spectral radiance. In addition, the use of Blicker shows a positive effect on preventing CVS. It is indicated by the significant drop of the mean values of the CVS scores before and after the intervention, as well as the significant value of the mean scores of CVS after the intervention between the two groups. Laptop users, especially students, are advised to use Blicker when doing activities in front of the screen to reduce blue light exposure and prevent CVS. Thank you! I'm Alkeshira, I'm Amanda, and we are the Blickerians! Use Blicker, eyes healthier!